How you doing guys? Welcome to another video. This is still topic 20, higher level organic chemistry, volume three, where we look at electrophilic substitution and reduction reactions. Let's go. Okay, volume three, electrophilic substitution and reduction reactions. We look at the reactions of benzene substitution and we look at reductions of acids and ketones. The IB understandings, applications and skills focus around electrophilic substitution of benzene and we need to know the mechanism. We also need to understand the mechanism for the reduction reactions of alcohols and ketones and know the reagents that we need to use. So the benzene ring, like a double bond, has a high electron density owing to the presence of the pi electrons in the ring. That high electron density means it is able to be attacked by electrophiles to form a carbocation intermediate. So here I've got three different representations of benzene. Each of them is acceptable in the IB program, but the one on the right with the circle represents that we have delocalization within the ring. Those pi, those pi bonds, they have formed above and below the ring, so the electrons are able to move freely in those regions. A carbon to carbon double bond is stronger than a carbon to carbon bond in benzene, but it's, it is also stronger than a carbon to carbon single bond. So the bond enthalpy of a carbon to carbon in benzene lies somewhere in between. So that means it's got a resonance structure, and the resonance structure just describes how those electrons can move around in that ring. So the nitration of benzene is an example of an electrophilic substitution reaction. Benzene is warmed with a mixture of concentrated nitric and concentrated sulfuric acids and in the process forms the nitronium ion. So when we have those two things we have an equilibrium process and the nitronium ion is what will undergo the substitution reaction with benzene. It has a positive charge, it's electron deficient, so it's known as an electrophile that electrophile is able to attack that high electron density of the benzene ring. So the NO2 acts as an electrophile attacking that benzene ring to produce a carbocation intermediate where the delocalization in the benzene pi electrons is disrupted. So here we have our benzene with its delocalization inside the ring. And then when we add in our electrophile, our nitronium ion, that is able to attack that high electron density of the ring. Now I'm showing the hydrogen here because that's going to be involved in the leaving group. That hydrogen will leave. So the electrons in the ring are attracted towards that electrophile which, have, uh, which are seeking electrons. And what happens is we form a carbocation intermediate where the nitronium ion is bonded to the benzene ring. So we have dotted lines to indicate that the delocalization has been disrupted, but it is still partially there. There still is delocalization in the other sections of the ring. It's just where we formed this area where a carbon now has four bonds, it will be slightly disrupted. Because it's a carbocation, it also has a positive charge. What will happen then is that the carbocation will be able to kick off the hydrogen or eliminate the hydrogen, leaving the, nit the nitro group attached to the benzene ring. Then it will re-establish its delocalization, so we now have nitrated the benzene ring. So what will happen is the carbocation, it will kick off or eliminate the hydrogen atom from the ring, allowing a covalent bond to form between the carbon and the, the nitro group, and then that re-establishes our delocalization in the ring. The pi electrons are maintained, and then we have a nitrated benzene. This results in what we call a nitrobenzene molecule, and we've lost a hydrogen ion. Once we form nitrobenzene, we can reduce that even further to form an amine, phenyl amine, by heating it with a tin catalyst and hydrochloric acid. The initial reaction produces an amine salt. So we have our nitro group, and then we react that with tin and concentrated hydrochloric acid, and now we form an ammonium salt of the phenyl amine. Once we form the ammonium salt, we need to get rid of its acidic properties by doing an acid-base reaction with hydroxide to form our phenyl amine. So we react it with OH- to form that phenyl amine. 
Now the reduction of a carboxylic acid, a carboxylic acid can be reduced to a primary alcohol via the aldehyde by the addition of lithium tetrahy... Ugh, I can't even say that. Um, LiAlH4. Now LiAlH4 is the only chemical we can use to reduce a carboxylic acid to a primary alcohol. It's the only one that will be strong enough to do it. So here we have our ethanoic acid and it can be reduced with acidic conditions in the presence of LiAlH4 to form the first, the aldehyde. And then upon more addition of our LiAlH4, still under acidic conditions, we can revert back to our primary alcohol. A ketone can be reduced to a secondary alcohol via the addition of either two chemicals, LiAlH4 or sodium bromohydride. Now, the LiH4 can only be used for the reduction of a carboxylic acid to an alcohol. When we have a ketone, we can choose to use either, either LiAlH4 or the sodium borohydride. It's a safer option if we were asked to use one to convert the ketone to the alcohol, but it can't be used to convert a carboxylic acid. It's not reactive enough. So butanone can be reduced to butantool via either of these two chemicals, but we would choose to use the sodium borohydride because it is a safer chemical and we want to keep our green chemistry in mind. So butanone can be reduced to butantool via the addition of the sodium borohydride. Butanone has a formula CH3, CH2, CO, CH3. And then we add that into our, we add that with our NaBH4 under acidic conditions again. And then we can form the secondary alcohol, which would be butantool. All right, volume three, some top tips. Just remember the conditions for this one, the electrophilic substitution of a benzene ring and then the reduction reactions for the acids and the ketones. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.